We're trying to put together that form of information based on real life and exactly and because i think because it's interesting i mean i think part of this as well because this month we've just been here five years so this is yeah i wanted to talk to you about that yeah 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 and i think from that point of view um we kind of put down a list of things because we have now think back to all our frustrations and how we would treat them now you know so there's some of those things that are just acceptable now whereas we completely thought God, this is you know this is so frustrating and annoying the way things work and now we're sort of completely chilled out and we accept it but it's almost if someone told us some of those things in the first place yeah i mean it doesn't necessarily mean that you would do them but it's just to be aware of you know and you kind of pick up bits of it but then you know there's the whole there's, there's an assumption i think as well when you come here that you know a lot of things i think that's always a problem when you're a foreigner in another country yes. because people are just like well of course you just do that <laughs> No, it's I mean, true, it's so care, true. You get somebody come to the UK. Like, well, of course you do that. It's like so obvious because you know your family know everybody knows except yeah. the person that's never been there. Before. Exactly, exactly. Like the picnic <laughs> thing. You know, you, you yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's it's embedded culturally, isn't it? So, um, I, I I'm having these similar thoughts. We've been here six years uh, and a month, I think now, um, and I, I, I was saying to, as we were driving around the other day. Do you remember how scared we used to be? Because I think we were doing some official business in in Kaldash Terenya the other day, um, and you know, quite high level official stuff that you need to do as a foreigner. Yeah. Um, and we had walked those streets pretty much six years ago when we came, or thereabouts. And yeah. just we're casting. I was casting my mind back to how terrified I was, um, yeah. wide eyed on on one level, and delighted to be in the country. But then when it came to anything like speaking to people, or yeah new situations and government stuff it's like you know we used to really have to um gird our loins for those sort of situations and and yeah. we, we didn't we, we you know we would go onto facebook and ask in a facebook group yeah. um we've changed like you've changed you know the, it sounds like there are some some echoey themes here um you yeah. know you've been here for a while you can reflect on that experience and and share it with other people but also um portugal's changed as well hasn't it in that time you know, that's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. another thing, isn't it? Presumably, which you're, you're working into your reorganization and restructuring of how you work. Yeah, yes, and exactly. Yeah, yeah. But also, we, we, we do the same thing, you see. We walk streets and we just look back. Mm. And there will, there will be the same streets at the same corner. Yes. Or maybe, or maybe a, a, a rather different looking place now. And mm. we say, do you... I mean, do you remember those? Because I remember those places, but I remember also those people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The people that we were, and we actually still are, but we're not. We're not yeah. all. No, no, we have changed. There's no, yes. there's no if so much. Yeah, so, so it's, um, it's, it's, it's empowering. Mm. It's empowering, and it's, it's, it's taken in a journey, mm. and it's, 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 it's a very good... I, I mean, it's a very good memory. There's, there, were, there was that sort of an energy that also came from no knowing a lot of things and trying to discover anything, but the same kind of frustration, which is now not there. But yeah, yeah. So yeah, I know we, exactly what you're talking yeah. about. It's yeah. our own. It's our own kind of expat sodad in a way, isn't it? Yeah. And you yeah. can't. Yeah. You, you, you can't go back to those police places and see them for the first time again, can you? you yeah. You've changed. Yeah. I mean, there's a there's a saying, isn't there? The best mirror is an old friend, and I think mm. it's true that it, uh, similarly, a great mirror is a place you saw five years ago when you on a Lisbon corner. Yeah. And you remember yeah. what you what you were like in relation to the, how you're seeing it now five years later, and I. I do feel a little bit, um, I didn't know this was going to happen, but I do feel a little bit sort of melancholic about it, that I won't be, mm. I won't be as bright-eyed and bushy-tailed about some things in Portugal anymore. I mean, I, there, there, I still have, uh, what I love about this country is it's still full of new experiences. We're going to go to the Schist villages, we're going to go to Beraun tomorrow. Yeah. And that, that thing of the delight of yeah. being in Portugal is, is persistent. But, yeah. the, but the very first naivety an innocence about it is, is, is has gone. It has to, doesn't it? It has. It has to go over time. Yeah, yeah it yeah. comes from real life. Real life, yeah. I suppose. But um, I think there's also that knowledge that you did unlock many things that there were absolutely 
not there to grab. And that's one thing about this country, I think we all agree, is something that is not, is an is a, is a incredible friendly place with, the, with nice and positive people and good lifestyle and a lot of good energy that come your way, but nothing's for you there to take because it's uh, not about. There's few aspects that the sh- they need you oh, to yeah. be tuned in to, to be able to unlock. Yeah, and then boy. when you sit back and then you say, oh, I can- oh, sorry. Uh, oh, I kind of unlocked it. Yes, and then you find yourself that place, mm. and you think, "Oh, you don't say, oh, I came a long way. Look where I am." Yeah. You don't say that. You just say, "Oh, but well, at least that's what happened to us." We say, oh, "I, I agree." Yeah, I, it's, I it. it's a thing. It's a thing that you've that you're. I, I've not heard it put like that, and I think that's very, very beautiful. Um, how how I've tended to see it is a kind of mysterious maiden. Uh, you know, the, where Portugal doesn't is not on show as soon as you arrive. Everything you need to do is not obvious. And that is, that takes some work on your part. And that's why it's not for everyone. And that's why I think quite a lot of American people, to be, to be frank and, and, and honest about this, um, and, and to manage people's expectations, really. If you're expecting a country and a culture to just say, um, here it is, this is what you do. Mm-hmm. And the more you pay, the more likely you're going to get that level of service. That, that is not this place. It, it's going to ask you to work a little bit. And I think yeah. that's a great, honestly, think that's a great thing because that's that's like true to life as well, isn't it? Life is like that. Our yeah, own true. personal development is like that, isn't it? It requires a little bit of work, mm. a little bit of pain sometimes that, that moves you on a little bit more. And if you can yep. cope with that process, you do grow and unfold. And I think this culture, yeah. bang on, Fabrizio. Is, what, have you got a name for that? The unlocking? Or is that what, it, is that what you call it? The unlocking of, of Portugal? I suppose. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, unlock. Yeah, yeah. unlock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or well, leveling up. There might be a game analogy, might there, where you where you play the game and engage with it. Ah, oh, yeah, when you unlock new characters and all the other yes. stuff. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Maybe. The game, the game, and and the unlocking of Portugal. And this, yeah, this yeah. could only this could only be a result of you being here for five years because you didn't know that was going to happen, did you? In year exactly. one. But I think that as well fits in with the lifestyle because that's the other point about it. Because sometimes you can very easily be in the wrong place at the wrong time until you start to realise, like, oh, if I'm not, you know. There's no point in being there at seven o'clock. I should be there at eight thirty. Yes. There's no point in me being here at and it's stupid because you go there at seven o'clock, you think it's supposed to be dead and boring. And then you go there at nine o'clock and you can't even find a seat in a restaurant. You know, it's sort of yes, so it's, you know, and somewhere somewhere in that period it changed, but you know, it's lively and there's lots of stuff going on, and you think, Oh, mm-hmm. why was it last time I came here? I didn't enjoy it. Probably because I would think, oh well. If I was in the UK by six o'clock, seven o'clock, if I was in a town, everybody's coming out after work and they're probably going for a drink. And that's probably one of its busiest times. And then it quietens down mm. a bit. That's yeah. like He's exactly the opposite. Yeah. So, well, it's know, the same thing. Though. There's all sorts of situations then you can talk about in the same same one. And that unlocking is correct. Once you spot it, you can, you know, move through, move yeah, through absolutely. to the level. Yeah. And there you go. Remember where you heard it first, uh, Fabrizio mm. Nians uh, and uh, Project Lisboeta, the unlocking of Portugal. When you write your biography, um, mm-hmm. that, that could be, it could be called that, couldn't it? The un- uh, Sorry if I've Good, it good. Anyway. I'm trying to decide who will play me in my uh, biopic. Okay, can we let our audience uh, have a say in that? So yeah, yeah, Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And they all will play Ian. Okay, so we're looking for the uh, people who will play Fabrizio and Ian mm-hmm. in the major uh, movie, and obviously mm-hmm. a, a musical at some point. It's yeah, it's a kind of a rock opera. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, like, uh, I'm loving like this is coming to by the Who or something. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, unlocking, unlocking uh, Portugal, starring Fabrizio mm-hmm. and Ian. Who should play them in the stage and Hollywood productions of? The... Are you thinking Hollywood, or are you thinking more of a sort of British European movie treatment, Richard Curtis or something like that? Uh, I, I was thinking a kind of Ken Loach, but it's fine. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you. Ken Loach is great, but no, 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 no. Come on, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, all right. it's fine. Whoever, 